Nick Knight's figures, averaging just a over 41. A little bit watchful. Obviously, they'd like to come out and and go at it all guns blazing, but it hasn't really been that sort of pitch, I don't think. I know a you know, different class of bowling can make a difference, but the Dutch, we saw in that first match they played against India, quite keen to concentrate on their, their lengths and lines. Bowled it pretty straight. And evidence, if you want it, of uh, uneven bounce. Second ball of the innings, and it's shot along the deck. Happens every now and then at Buffalo Park. This type of surface is almost ideally suited to the slow, medium paces, and most of the Dutch bowlers are like that. So we can expect a good line of length. We can expect a change of pace. Knight is off the mark as well now. Yes, from a batsman's point of view, you just have to take your time to get used to it, don't you? It's probably the type of surface that you're never quite in on, and you've got to be patient. Nick Knight, of course, he's a bit of a goer, particularly. Well, he's hit that well enough. He's going to get away from Raja. It was hit with uh, immense power. That's what England got to do, though. They've got to wait for the ball that is in the right sort of slot. A little bit of width will enable them to play the shots they need. With respect to the dash bowlers, there's going to be a bad ball on offer virtually every over or so. So it's just a matter of rotating the strike, working the ones, and bad deliveries will come. Well guided. And get at least two here. Shifley again, the fielder, brought back into the action. Perhaps that contributed a bit to the dismissal of the opener. You don't, you never usually see him charging bowlers like that too often, do you? No, I think they would have talked about that 15 overs while the ball's hard because they will not get any pace from Holland's bowlers. They'll try to uh, contain the game. I'm not sure that they're good enough to do that, Holland. Found the gap again, that's well played. Nick Knight. It's a long chase and a fruitless chase. And that brings up 50 for England. Well played again. Finding these gaps quite well, Nick Knight. In the slot, left-handed slot. Anything that's full of length and just round about leg stump. I'm not saying I'm coming here for my holidays, but <laughs> don't miss it. Never up, never in. Well, <laughs> that's not something that Adi Raja would have seen too often. <laughs> and that bone dribbles up the 50 partnership. He's started to play that shot really well now, Nick Knight. He's one of the few players that gets it away successfully. A confident shot. Obviously been worked on and practised. Not pretty, but effective. Knight's moved on to 29 from 38. Ten fours in this uh, England innings. And again, I think the leader was moved just a bit squarer, but it mattered not. He should know, actually, that Nick Knight plays that shot effectively. There's no fielder out there in the deep. We just push back to the edge of the circle. They're still restricted, at Holland, on the number of players that they can have outside the 30-yard circle, and he'll take advantage. Fields moving back, just in that problem area for that reverse sweep, and a catcher has come in short on the leg side. It's a good aerial shot there, at this field. It's difficult for an off spinner to bowl to this. Oh, 
take a fucking new mother? That reverse sweep is a shot that usually pulls up most field placings. There we go again. Slightly different this time. But the same result. Well, the cheek of it. Trying to manoeuvre the, the field just in that problem area where Knight will play the shot. He's confident on the shot. Now, have a look at this with improvisation. Just a little dink. Remember, he's a left-handed batsman and just changes his hands round somehow. Yeah, three fours. Lots to think about. Yeah, yeah. Twelve runs from the over. It's seventy-nine for one. Nice to play, McKnight. Good backing up. He's doing well, McKnight. He knows that Michael Vaughan's seeing it like a football. He's uh, moved on to 47, Michael Vaughan. McKnight, 40. He's 40 from 48. Michael Vaughan, though, has uh, come from just 41 deliveries. Good piece of backing up. He takes it well. We lost the series 4-1. Well, that's good round the even had time to have a little consultation about that one. Okay. Knight's still there. In the anchor roll. 41 not out from 51 delivery. Six fours. Let's have a look at the dismissal of Michael Vaughan. Can I do? A single. So without uh, breaking sweat, there's seven runs off the over. One ball to go. I think the Nick Knight is, is definitely... Is at the crease for England, Knight and Blackwell. Magnificent <laughs> start. 1.1 overs, no maidens, four runs, two wickets. He's got a nice easy action as well, just rem reminiscent of Shane Warne, just a little walk up to the crease, and then the full toss. <laughs> Warren wouldn't be quite so happy with, but the, the balls that he's landed so far have definitely looked, looked decent. There's plenty of revs on them. And with improved control, he could be a very handy performer. Well, you're always going to get it slightly wrong when you're a wrist spinner. There's always going to be the old one to hit. And I suppose if you're a bowler, I suppose the full toss is, the low full toss is better than the long hop. Having said that, you've got a wicket with one of those, haven't you? Yeah, the game is there to make fools out of all of us, Beef. And regularly does. And uh, he's got that one through. And that brings Nick Knight's 50 up. It's been a patient one, but full of control. He's now moved on to 51 not out from 56 balls with eight boundaries. He's seen a couple of wickets go at the other end, but uh, hasn't phased him whatsoever and he's steering England home yeah Nick Knight it looks as though or it would have appeared that he was playing the uh, the anchor role but he's still scored his runs at a strike rate of 91 per 100 balls which is uh, which is swift by any standards and because of the fact that Nick Knight is so good at rotating the strike it often seems as though he's been out there for ages without scoring but he does score a lot of singles off off a lot of the balls that he faces which keeps the strike rate up there for him and also allows people like Michael Vaughan to get more of the strike with him. Good comeback. And walking Nike thought there was another full toss there, just dipped in on him a little bit. And then needing then 17 more for victory. Catch it! 
Well, what do I say? Can you believe it? The longest long up you'll ever see. Now, Zudrant at mid-wicket didn't have to move. It spooned off some part of the bat. I'm not quite sure where. Nick Knight cannot believe it. And what were we talking about? Long ups and full tosses. Well, there you go. I guess that's one of the... Uh... One of the advantages that a wrist spinner has is that you can make the ball bounce maybe a little bit more. So even if you bowl a really bad ball, bit of spin, bit of bounce, and suddenly the worst ball in the world has got you a wicket. Celebrations. Why not? Thought he was going to go for another boundary. Instead, Nick Knight's gone. He's gone for 51. It's 126 for four.